This is daily vlog number 273. Today as I was walking the dog, I had an interesting run-in with someone. Actually, I should say, they almost ran into me. As I was crossing the main street in our town, a veritable gauntlet of bravery and fortitude, as most of the people who fly down that road barely pay attention to the stop for all pedestrians in the crosswalk sign. I've had a couple dozen close calls where people have almost clipped me or the pooch. This was shaping up to be one of those close calls. Now, I had the people to the left of me stopping to let me cross the street, people to the right of me stopping to let me cross the street, and I felt safe, I felt cared for, loved even, by the people on the road. I made it halfway across the road when suddenly I turned to look at the SUV, sitting there, waiting, patiently, when suddenly from around him burst a red car, hell-bent on getting to where he was going, despite there being two living creatures directly in front of him. I yanked the dog to a standstill and immediately threw up my arms, yelling, Hey! As he sped along, I didn't think anything of it, because, as I said before, this has happened to me many, many times. So I started walking through the park, and that's when I noticed him turn down the block at the end of the park. And then he turned the corner again, across the park. And then he turned up the corner, coming to where I was in the park. And I thought to myself, Oh, great! I don't have time for this. I slowed my pace and started observing exactly what this guy was going to do. I didn't know if he was going to start driving across the grass to get to me, or if he was just going to start some crap that I really didn't want a part of. Sure enough, he pulled over, rolled down his window and yelled across the park, Hey! Hey! You! What? And then he said the most surprising thing. I'm really sorry! What? I'm really sorry! I didn't see you there! That's the first time that happened. And if that was all that happened, that would be enough. That kind of made my day. I said a quick, thank you, that's okay, and continued to walk on. And then he drove around the block again and met me at the end of the park. He said he was really sorry once again because he didn't see me there. He thought the guy was turning and wanted to get around him, and it was only when I yelled at him that he noticed I was there, and I scared the crap out of him as much as he scared the crap out of me. <laughs> so what was I supposed to do? I thanked him again for apologizing. I said, it's okay, drive safe. And then he asked me, so do you live in town? Now I'm getting creeped out. So I decided to pull out the P card. No. Not that P-card. I said, yeah, I'm the pastor of the Methodist church in town. Because nothing chases people away quicker than saying you're a pastor. Get out of here! I used to go to that church! <sighs> Thank God I didn't curse him out when he drove by. Apparently the guy went to our church years and years ago, long before my time. And we wound up chit-chatting for about five minutes about the people he knew and the people who were still there. And I was so grateful that A, he didn't kill me or my dog, and B, I didn't respond in anger, but just surprise. And C, I accepted his apology gracefully. If only more people that tried to run me down would be apologetic like that, it would be a better world. So tell me, have you ever been in a situation where you expected someone to act a certain way, but they acted completely the opposite of what you expected? Let me know in the comments below. This has been Daily Vlog number 273. 92 to go. I'll talk to you tomorrow.